This is our facility. We're building hundreds of vehicles every month. We're building the X2 drone, the dock, and then also the controller are all being manufactured here. There's over 100 people here that are responsible for that, from operators, technicians, engineers, and our planning team. My experiences both at small startups as well as large companies like Apple has really given me a different balance in terms of how to scale at large volume, but also how to handle a lot of complexity and a lot of changes in the short term. It's about 37,000 square feet. It really allows us to really scale for the future and handle the next docks, drones, and controllers that we're going to be building then. Here at Skydio, we build all the vehicles here in America, which we think is really important. It allows us to control the software, the hardware, and really maintain the integrity of the vehicle and the data for our customers. One of the other key factors when we chose this location was its proximity to headquarters. Uh, this allows the engineers to come here and do a lot of the iteration and development here on the floor, which allows for rapid prototyping, rapid iteration, and rapid development of the future products that we're working on. I inspect every part that comes through this building as we receive it before it gets to the line. It's a major part of our success here is the quality of our product. Having incredible products is really important to soldiers and first responders who use those products. We find it really important to build those here in California. We can find the best engineers, the best technicians, and we can control the entire process. We developed our own internal training applications so that we can actually make sure that everybody is certified and trained in the processes they're building. And that really controls the quality of our products. When I walk customers through, it gives them the confidence that we can respond quickly and that we have the scale to support their operations. So once the drone is fully assembled, it's gonna start going into individual testing. First test is gonna be the RF test where we're testing all the radios. And then it'll go into camera calibration where we're building the obstacle avoidance envelope around the vehicle to a flight test. And then we actually do an outdoor flight test. And then finally install the final customer flash pack or the customer software that each customer will receive when um, they receive their order. The first thing we install the final configuration. On final configuration, we install the software package that customer has ordered. So we start preparing a kit. So we pack the drone, pack the paired controller, batteries, charging dock, extra cables. Then this whole kit is ready to ship now. When the customer take it out, it's just ready to go. Our drones are used for some of the most critical jobs in the world. As a former officer in the United States Infantry, I can understand how important it is to have the world's best hardware at our fingertips. And it takes a really special person to be able to build a drone and attention to detail. We find it really important to have that control here and to be able to bring the people in and train them to our standards. The end result of the work that we do here is to deliver performance-ready products to customers around the world.